great and amazing things are taking place every moment in front of our eyes but like that it's written the majority of wonders and miracles that takes place in our lives are the ones that are hidden from our eyes the creator for an example revives the world in mysterious ways and we can never even understand how deep it goes and how powerful and good is the intention and power of Hashem. For an example, water is a creation and in the time of the temple, the servants, the Kohanim, were using water in Beit HaMikdash. So there were certain particles of water that were used in Beit HaMikdash. Those were the water that Hashem set for the Kohanim to use. And those are chosen water that the Kohanim put in their cups, they wash the dishes over there, they clean their hands, they, they wash the, the, the floor of the Holy Temple. Pure water that <clears throat> were sent by the Creator to that purpose. Now, the Creator, that He's the one that knows how to define and find the difference between water to water, something that is impossible for human beings to understand and to see and to even almost to believe that someone is able to track. But on HaKadosh Boku it's written that He is Mavdil Ben Maim Le Maim, that He knows how to separate between water to water. He can find and track the water that were in the temple of Hashem 2,000, 3,000 years ago and to bring them into your cup. So those ones who are praiseworthy, that are righteous, that are pure, Hashem is sending underground certain hidden pipes and tunnels and streams of pure water that their source is from the temple is from the rivers that came out from the Garden of Eden. And He's sending those pure water into your washing cup, into your drinks, into your food, into the moist of the air that you breathe. It's written, Avira de Eretz Israel Machkima, the air of the land of Israel makes the people wiser. And only HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the Creator, He knows how to choose and find the air that makes people wiser and to divide it from the air that makes, that is polluting, that makes people dumber. And the Creator is sending a certain hidden streams of air in the sky and no one can track it but Hashem. And He is sending to you through hidden pipes certain air that makes you wiser and you can breathe air of Eretz Israel even when you live abroad and you can live inside the land of Israel God forbid and not to be married for that amazing divine supervision and you will not enjoy the air that is pure and purifying and a person because of his sins because of his evil actions because of his filthy thoughts can find himself even in the city of Yerushalayim breathing the same air that came out of the breath of Bil'am or of Pharaoh or of other villains. And we need to believe and to count on the amazing supervision of Hashem that He puts into the fruits, into the depth of the microscopic fiber into the atoms, into the cells of the food that we're eating, into the vitamins, the spiritual power that is essential for our spiritual growth. And He's supervising on the creation in such great depth, with so much wisdom and with great compassion and love, that He is pulling and completing all of his children to that position that in one moment the whole world will be set for the redemption that all the circles will be closed 
that all the corrections will be completed, that all the sins will be atoned, that all the problems will be solved. It will take place in one moment. Suddenly everything will be behind us and in that moment everything will be prepared. You don't know who you are. You don't even have a clue who you are. You can think about yourself, oh, I'm Jewish, or I'm from the tribes of Israel, or I'm from the tribe of Dan, of God, of Asher, of Naphtali, or you can tell yourself, I don't know who I am. I am this or that, or I don't have a clue. But the truth is that the Creator, He knows. The Creator, He knows exactly who your mother is and who your father is. And He has that memory to tell you. And He, in the future, will tell you from which branch of which family, from which tribe you were born, you came out to this world, and you are the, the tip of the sword, you are the highest branch in that oak of life, of that fruitful tree of life. You are that one that is standing on the top and shining the light of your ancestors to the world without even knowing who you are. All the sparks that were left by your ancestors that you don't know who they are and you don't have that great unfortunately you don't have that great understanding of knowing and loving and appreciating your being and understanding your greatness by knowing and remembering your legacy who you are if you would know that your great 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 mother uh, was such an amazing person, that she was so holy, that she was a daughter of such a righteous person, that was so generous, that generous, that saved lives, that ran out of the fire, that saved the whole village from horrible rumors, and they all had to immigrate. And then when they immigrated, they gave charity, and they spent all their money for charity, and they opened an orphanage, and they saved lives. And like, you don't know who you are. And if you'll go deeper, you're going to understand that your family is related to another family. And you know, I'll tell you another secret in a deeper way. You think to yourself, for an example, I don't know if I'm Jewish. My mother, she doesn't know her religion. We don't know who. If her grandmother, she never said. She never talked. We don't know anything about ourselves. I'm going to ask you something. Even a person who is choosing, God forbid, to marry as a Jewish person with someone that is not Jewish. Can he know for sure that the woman that he is marrying now is not Jewish? No, he can never know. You can think that you are now about to get married with a non-Jewish woman when that woman might be Jewish and you don't know. And she might not even know that she's Jewish. And she can be sure that she is not. She can think that she's Christian. She can think that she's Muslim. She can think that she's Hindu. And she doesn't know where her family came from. She doesn't know. Because two generations back, you don't have a clue what's going on. You don't have no clue who you are. But for the Creator, it's very easy to supervise on the world in such ways that families will always stay together and that there will never be mixed marriages. And even if we think that we're falling to mixed marriages, we're not. The nation of Israel is built from 12 tribes. The majority of the tribes are forgotten. Let's call them lost in a certain way. But we think that they are lost. There is someone above that is supervising on every fruit that they're putting into their mouths. That is making sure that they will keep on drinking water that are being poured and coming from the temple of King Solomon 3,000 years ago. And Hashem is supervising on every individual as an only child. And He makes sure that they will stay within and protected and guard and supervised with great compassion and with amazing, amazing wisdom to every detail of their life. So just as a wake-up call and a reminder, you don't know who you are. Trust Hashem much, much, much more and know that He is supervising the world and He's bringing us to our completion and to our correction. And in one moment, everything will be clear and Hashem will open the sky. He will just remove the curtain and we will see Hashem face to face like we saw Him 
from Mount Sinai when Moshe led us and brought us to that powerful site to see and to accept the Torah from Hashem. Mashiach will take us and will lead us to the same position, just in a higher level, in a level that we will be able to experience the eternal redemption and not the temporary redemption. May Hashem bring us to that time with happiness and joy and great success, surrounded with all our loved ones, happy as us and even more. Amen. Can you hear that song?